Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, fans of Clash of Clans, I'm here today to talk to you about a very serious matter, a very depressing matter, and that would be the 90%. That's right, the 90%. You're running attack, it's going great, you're absolutely kicking butt, and then all of a sudden, it just kind of fizzles and leaves anywhere from three to five buildings at the end, and you run out with a 90% two-star. Oh my gosh, I hate it when that happens. But I've got four really great replays for you to show what it happens to these guys instead of me. So we're gonna start off with Fiddlesworth, and it's gonna take him a few seconds to get his army up here, but he's running a Jaibaka. And Jaibaka is a great, great, great attack strategy. If you haven't started using it and you've got the max troops, you got to try it out. Give it about maybe 10 attacks so you can acclimate to it a little bit. But you start off by throwing in a few boxer giants to distract any of the defenses that got that outer perimeter reach. Like, say, for example, maybe, uh, oh, I don't know, a cannon or an archer tower or something like that. They tend to be around the outside. But the Boxer Giants go in and soak up a little bit of hits from them. And then in goes your bombers to take out the walls and disrupt the pathing. Now, the next part is the tough part. The goal is to send in your Super P.E.K.K.A. and aim her at that giant cannon so the giant cannon starts firing at her instead of anything else. For me, that never ever works. The only thing that it seems to ever want to go after is my battle machine. I mean, I can hold the battle machine off until the giant cannon is almost dead, and it will still change and go after my battle machine. I don't know why. But in this case, you know, Fib manages to do it, gets all that stuff out of the way, weakens the builder hall, battle machine goes down, last cannon cart gets it, but look at this. Oh my gosh, his cannon carts are in last stand. All he's got left is that final bomber who manages to get one army camp, and boom, the attack is over. 90% two-star. Next one we got here, Skibby, coming in with, uh, how, what are we going to call this? Are we going to call this Jibartica, I think? I think we'll call this Jibartica. So we've got Boxer Giants doing the distraction bit alongside of the uh, Rage Barbarians. Cannon Cars coming in from behind, destroying things. And, of course, the Super Peko working her way in to knock on wood, distract uh, things like that giant cannon to keep them on, you know, keep her, keep her busy over there. Uh... Super P.E.K.K.A. instead gets flung into the middle of the base and ends up working on other stuff and finally dying at the hands of the Crusher. So she doesn't really help out a whole heck of a lot on this particular attack. But the Boxer Giants do manage to attract the Giant Cannon, kind of keep it away from the Battle Machine just long enough for the Battle Machine to work his way in and clear a good solid path into the Builder Hall. Lots and lots of Cannon Carts left. All the more or less ranged weapons are out of the way, so the boxer or the uh, boxer giants can work their way up and continue to distract, while the cannon carts work their way up and take out a few more good buildings. However, yep, that's right. We're at the end of the, of the attack. Cannon carts going into last stand. Those two hidden Teslas. I don't like the Teslas. I don't like this. They take down our cannon carts. And we end up walking away with a 94% two-star. I feel for you, Skibby. I really do. This is awful. But it was a great attack nonetheless, right? Next, we got Go Godly Mortal uh, coming up here. And he's coming in with Big Bart. In the Big Bart, you start off by taking out some of those outer buildings. Uh, usually, you send in just a handful of your Rage Barbarians one at a time. Let them take out things like the army camps, maybe that uh, altar over there, the battle machine altar. Then behind them, we send in the Grand Disruptors. That's right, the bombers. The bombers go in to take out the walls and destroy any of the pre-made pathing. Uh, at that point, you want to start sending in your Boxer Giants so they can soak up some of the heavy, heavy-duty uh, type defenses. And, of course, you continue to flood the compartment with Rage Barbarians a little bit at a time. This allows your bombers to continue to take out walls, but more importantly, it provides the protected space for the cannon carts to work their way in and start taking a few things down as well. Uh, this attack tends to rely a lot on the Rage Barbarians because they can soak up a pretty good amount of damage, and at the same time, once you get that path cleared over to the battle or the Builder Hall, they're able to kind of just jump in there and take it down with, uh, without too terrible much trouble. But once again, as you can see, our troops have kind of fizzled a little bit. We're at 85%. That, uh, that cannon car is going to do a great job taking out that clock tower. 
And we got those last two bombers over there. They're gonna maybe work their way up just a little bit more towards that army camp. Oh, there went the cannon cart. And now the bombers can take out that army camp. And they'll say, well, let's see what else we can get to. But there's that double cannon, and there's no reason to even try, because double cannon's gonna eat them alive. 90% two-star. Last but not least, here we have 10 with the Bombarian carts. And um, again, we're going to rely on the Rage Barbarians to be kind of the uh, the fuel behind this attack. Something I did want to mention, though, you see that bomber there? He takes out two walls because they're so close together. And watch the placement of the bomber up at the top. That big bomb ability takes out not only the wall, but also the army camp that's behind it. Now, that's worth noting as you deploy your bombers. Because if you can deploy them to where they can hit multiple things like that, and we see this at the end of a lot of attacks where they're working on walls and they get some uh, non-defensive building as well, it's a good way to get extra percentage points. And that's really, you want to get every little bit of extra percentage points that you can. So in go the Rage Barbarians. Uh, he manages to time it pretty well to get to that Crusher just after it's dropped. And uh, the Cannon Cards finish it off, of course. But... We just continue to flood the middle of the base with Rage Barbarians working their way in, taking down this, taking on that, down goes the giant cannon. Next up, we've got the Builder Hall completely exposed, so you just drop a whole bunch of Rage Barbarians on that. They're going to take that down. Your cannon carts are working from behind the Rage Barbarians, so they're able to take out a fair amount as well. And this is a pretty textbook Bombarian carts. Works really, really well on a lot of different bases. The key to any of these ground attacks, though, is always disrupting the uh, pathing that's built into the base. Once you've disrupted the pathing built into the base, you're pretty much going to be able to just direct your troops however you want to. Here we see the battle machine has managed to last up to the very end, but he's pretty much done for. Boom, down he goes, and our cannon car is going to work its way up and get, uh, get taken out by that last cannon leaving us with yet another 90% two-star. Now, I tease a lot about these being 90%ers, but make no bones about it. These are great, great attacks that these guys are doing. They're all doing them in the mid to upper 4,000s. We're talking max and near max basis. So good stuff, great to watch, and uh, great, to, great to see. Thanks a lot for sticking around at the end of the video. If you got any questions or comments, drop them down below, and I will be back with more great Builder Base content. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.